So I've previously spoken about sexual transmutation, mastering your porn addiction, learning how to control your sexual energy. And I teach all of that in my coaching down below in the description. But in particular, I wanna focus on one reason why you always feel the urge to go back and relapse and masturbate and literally self-pleasure. There's, re there's two reasons for this. The main one is obviously you've built up a habit of your, you've trained your brain to basically feel, okay, when we feel this urge, we release through masturbation, through self-pleasure. You've trained your brain to respond to that physical sensation with that action. So in order to break the habit, you just simply have to change the action that you do to respond to the urge. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I always get the urge to go and masturbate. What, uh, how do I stop the urge? It's not the urge that you should be focusing on. It's where you're directing that sexual energy. That's the problem. A lot of you guys feel the urge, which again is absolutely normal. Let me reiterate my point. There is nothing wrong with feeling the urge. Don't try and get rid of the urge. You're a fully grown fucking man with testosterone. Of course, you're going to feel horny. Of course, you're going to want to release. That's normal. The problem is where you are putting that sexual energy. Every time you feel aroused, every time you get the urge, that is just sexual energy building up down there, okay? And obviously I teach you how to circulate the energy. So if you're a guy that's on SEMA retention or you're doing NOFAP or whatever, and you wanna learn how to take the energy from down there throughout your entire body and rejuvenate yourself with the power of, of your sexual energy, you can do that with my coaching down below. But that's the point, right? Nothing wrong with feeling the urge. The problem is what you're doing with that urge. You are, are training yourself to just masturbate and to just release by yourself like a weirdo. That's the problem. You're directing that sexual energy into nothing, into just quick temporary pleasure that's gonna go in like that in a couple of seconds. Whereas you should be directing the same energy through circulating, again, coaching, circulate the energy, and then you go and use that energy for something else. That's what you should be doing. There's nothing wrong with feeling the urge. You've just got to simply break the habit of masturbation. That is the action. That's a negative action that you're doing. You feel the urge, and then because you've trained yourself to do masturbation to combat the urge, what you're going to do is you're going to feel the urge. Your body's going to respond, respond physically to it, and then you're going to go and masturbate because that's what you've trained yourself to do. You're used to it. So as soon as you feel the urge, you've got to train yourself to do something else, something positive, something that's worthwhile, push-ups. If you're feeling really that horny that you're like, oh, fucking hell, I can't think of anything else. I really need to... Bro, I don't get to that point anymore because, again, I can circulate the energy. But if you are still one of these guys that you feel it and it gets kind of too intense because I, mem I remember how that used to feel because I used to be that guy, just do some push-ups. Just go and use that urge. Go and breathe the energy. <sighs> circulate through your entire fucking body. Use that energy, that sexual energy, which is more motivation, it's more fuel, it's more energy that you didn't have before you felt the urge. Now go and use it for something positive. Go on a run, go to the gym, go and do push-ups, go and use the same energy to go and attract a real life girl, dress up nice, smell nice, go and have a shower, hit the clubs, go and get a real girl and release with her instead. At least you fucking earned it. You know, don't sit on Tinder or Instagram like a little pussy, like, hey, hey, message and all the good. Get outside into the real world and go and earn it. Use that sexual energy like a, like a lion on the hunt for his mate. Go and do that. That's number one. You've got to break the habit of just poor masturbation habits, right? Responding to that urge, that physical urge, with a negative habit. You've got to break that habit by simply just training yourself consciously. Okay, I feel horny. What am I going to do with this energy? See it as energy. What am I going to do with this energy? Right? I feel really, really fucking charged up. I really need to release. What am I going to do with this energy? Am I going to sit here like a bitch and take the bitch option? Or am I going to think to myself, what would the best version of myself do right now? He'd go out and go and find a real girl. Or he'd go and do some push-ups. Or he'd go to the gym. Or he'd go for a run. Whatever is relevant to you and your situation. That's what he'd do. So ask yourself that same question. What would the best version of myself do in this situation? Okay, number two is sexual thoughts in your brain. Now, a lot of the time, the reasons why I don't get these problems anymore of like, oh, really intense urge, I really need to release. Again, yes, I can transmute the energy and I've learned how to master that, basically. Obviously, you don't really master anything in life, but to a certain extent, I've done it to where I'm very, very good at it and it doesn't really affect me anymore. But also, I don't engage in sexual fantasy in my head. A lot of you guys are just going to sit there and you're going to be just daydreaming about fucking some girl that doesn't even know you exist. Now, there's a difference here because I always talk about imagination and how powerful your imagination is in terms of attracting what you want. So let's say there is a set girl. There's a girl in, in your gym or in work or in school. I don't know how old you are that you want, right? Now, you want this girl. You want to basically like manifest, visualize you with this girl, you getting what you want with this girl. This is where imagination can be quite powerful. Now, there's a difference between imagining and visualizing what you want in order to attract it and just daydreaming. There's a difference between that. Daydreaming's the bad one. Daydreaming in terms of sexual fantasies is very, very negative and it's just gonna cause you to build up arousal, build up sexual energy, build up the urge, but you're not gonna do anything with it. So try to disengage from sexual thoughts. Every time you find yourself daydreaming about a sexual thought, 
cut that thought dead, return to the present moment, do push-ups, do something else. Because every time you engage in that sexual thought, that's sexual energy building up in your brain and naturally it's going to start building up down there because that's what you've trained yourself to do. So that's probably the main problem for a lot of you boys is you're just daydreaming throughout the day, thinking about fucking that girl, thinking about getting your dick sucked from that girl. Like, just stop that shit. If it's not happening in reality and you are not visualizing it, so yeah, fair enough, you can close your eyes and a part of the visualization process, you can visualize you having an intimate experience with that girl you really like because that's what you want to manifest. You can do it in that way, but the difference between visualization and daydreaming is intention, action. Are you actually actioning that to make it a reality? Are you actually going and talking to the girl that you like to make that visualization a reality? Or are you just sitting there going, oh yeah, that'd be really nice. That would be so cool if that really happened and then just going on with your days if nothing. Like, bruv, if you are just going to sit there and imagine that, but then you're not going to do anything to action it, then you are wasting your time and you're just building up sexual energy for nothing. That's the difference. If you are going to think, if you are going to engage in mental fantasy and sexual thoughts like that, and imagination with you basically having sex with a girl, if you're going to think these thoughts, then make sure you are using that same arousal that you are now building up to do the thing that's going to get you closer to that visualization act go and talk to the girl dress up better you know have a fucking shower go to the gym build yourself make yourself the kind of man that can actually achieve that visualization in reality that's the difference what you guys are doing is you're just you're thinking these sexual fantasies in your brain you're thinking these sexual thoughts you're imagining this this scenario with this girl sexually but then you're just not doing anything to make it a reality so therefore it's simply just a daydream it's just simply going to stay forever a fantasy that's a masturbatory way of thinking that's what you're doing. You're basically just being a wanker. You're just, you're just in this wanker mindset of like, oh, I close my eyes and I wish it could happen. Like, be the kind of man that actually makes that a reality. Be the kind of man that can actually go out there and, and just live that life. You don't have to imagine it. You doesn't have to visualize it because it's happening in real life in the present moment. Go and do that instead. Use that sexual energy to your advantage. It's extra fuel. It's extra energy. It's extra creative flow. You're going to get ideas just popping into your brain. That's why I never run out of ideas on YouTube. Just constant ideas just flowing to me because I'm present and my sexual energy is constantly being transmuted. And I release as well. I, I, I'm with girls a lot of the time, right? And I still have this creative flow. That shows how much energy you truly have, especially if you're a young man like my age, 21 years old, full of testosterone, full of energy. You've got almost infinite sexual energy. Even after I've released, I've still got more, bro. It's just constant. Bam, bam, bam. Use it. Stop wasting it fucking masturbating like a bitch, like a wanker. You're a loser, bro. Stop doing that. You know you're better than that. Ask yourself, what would the best version of myself do in this situation and make that you? That is how you manifest the life that you want. That's how you stop wasting your time and energy and put it into something positive. Coaching is down below if you want to learn more how to master your porn addiction, master your sexual energy, transmute it throughout your entire body so you never have the urge to relapse again. Use that to your advantage. Okay, don't miss the opportunities. Down there below, half price. It used to be $100, it's now 50. Go and make the most of that. I'll see you soon. Look after yourself and stop engaging in sexual thoughts. Bye.